Saturday, April 1st, 2017. Jump, I mean, uh, no hit yard test. I did that. 100 in the sprints, ball drills, cone drills, abs. I'm going to swim right now, 825, 925 out here. I have pneumonia, so I'm going to get in there and do the best I can. Um, second time I've had it. Uh, last year I had it, and uh, I worked through it. You know, I'm going to have to do it again. <laughs> but that's, that's, that's the way the world works. That's the way it goes. Um, I don't know what will happen. Hopefully I get in this game two weeks from now. I dedicate all the catches and touchdowns to snowball. And I said all the catches and touchdowns, plural, to snowball. So, I mean, I've dedicated a lot of stuff. And I don't know what's what's going to happen. I prayed for stuff. And my cat's gone. We lost one in eight, August. We lost this one a couple weeks ago in my arms. And I have one left. And um, you know, I guess we do a lot of stuff. And he's a good companion. We got to be there for each other. He lost two sisters. I lost two awesome cats. But, you know, my legacy to do this, you got to be the best that you can be. Carve your name in hearts, not marble. Be a, be a leader and do this right way. Um, like I said before, it is it's it is what it's going to be. <laughs> you know, it's it's supposed to be tough. It's been tough uh, the last seven years. <laughs> the last seven years, you know. So, I'm going to do everything I need to. I got faith in me. I got faith in how hard I work, and I got faith that I'll be ready for the shot. I don't know what'll happen. You know, the CFL scout comes out there to watch the game. I don't even know if I'm gonna get in the game. I gotta, I gotta hope and pray for that. But I'm staying on top of what I gotta do: grind, hustle for money, do what I have to do, and play in these games, and be a leader and do this. I got the ability to write this end of the story. You know, this is an inspirational story. I've been through a lot in seven years. Something wrong to know, but I'm not trying to, trying to get on a high horse by saying this stuff. You know. First of all, because I can't stand listening to my voice like I'm like this right now, but it's it's from those of you who know me in 2010, 2011, stuff happened that shouldn't have happened, and I didn't do anything, and I I got a lot of stuff taken away from me, and it was wrong, it was wrong, but I focused on helping people, I focused on doing what I need to do. You know, I hope I hope down in Florida, those kids that I taught at Little Pro's Academy, they 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 they're now they were babies to five years old in 2010. Now they're at least they're at least six to to ten. And the people that I helped out at um, all about kids in Winter Springs and who was in fourth and fifth grade, awesome people, awesome. Um, in 2009, I would go out there. The best thing about that job, the best, it, it wouldn't feel like a job. The best thing about that was <laughs> when they would come from at the school program, two to six, and uh, there was these people, good athletes, and I wanted to get everybody involved in a football game on this big grass dirt field they had. <laughs> and one thing I did, and remind you, this is not just like first graders. We're talking about like third, fourth, fifth, sixth, uh, third, fourth, fifth graders who, you know, you know that age, they're sitting there like I'm the best. <laughs> I would catch the ball, and I'd say, all right, two in touch. And we'll start the game. I would pump and turn. I'd shimmy, shake, shake and bake, just do, 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 move. That was so awesome because I was training and I wasn't even knowing it. I, I didn't even know it. And like, just to avert, you know, you sit there and it's like, oh, fifth graders, these are some of them are athletes, man. This is Florida. This ain't, this ain't, we're not talking about, but they got athletes down in Florida now that, you know, I'm from New York. They got athletes in Florida when they were first grade. So, but it was awesome. It was, it was awesome. And and I would get the people involved, the girls and the guys involved that wouldn't want to play, that didn't get the ball, and I'd be all-time QB, and the other person would be all-time QB, and I, we'd win, I'm competitive. And, and I'd, I'd pick the people who didn't get the ball a lot, and I'd throw each and every one of them a ball. I'd make sure they at least got a chance. The guys who were fast, they'd be like, hey, throw deep. They're going deep. Occasionally, I'd throw it to them. But, like, I wanted... Like, the, the other people get involved. The kids, the guys who didn't play, you know, the girls who didn't have a chance to do a lot of stuff at that in gym. They loved coming there at the school. And that was the, that was the awesome thing. That was the awesome thing about that, you know. Just, you know, it's just, down in Florida, it's different. Up here, I helped out kids, and they, they had, they weren't even together, man. I had two parents who were 25, three kids, three different guys. Eleven them separated, two were boyfriend, girlfriend, none of them were like, combined. And I was like, wow. The best time, though, teaching was down one to five-year-old gym. And that after-school program, my first thing with the kids, just moving, just training. We'd be playing football. They'd come to the football field. They'd want to play. That was awesome. I never forget that shit. 
I don't. I remember each and every one of those people's names. Those kids were awesome. But, you know, over time, they probably forgot your name. They probably forgot, you know, who, who was there for you. They probably forgot, you know, what you did for them. They probably forgot how, how you know, they don't know it because they were young, but they don't know what you're going through. And that's a story I want to tell the last, you know, seven, eight years of my life. Just getting out there and doing it. Going through a lot. It's, it could be a movie. It would be like a four-star movie. <laughs> like, honestly, I'm not... It's got everything in it, man. Everything. Trials, tribulations, ups, downs, rain, shine, then rain again, then shine again. It's just... It's crazy. But I've been talking too long, so... Never settle. Always fight for this guy. I'm in 200. Show my friends for on New York training. I came to Ohio Saturday, April 1st, 2017. Remember that stuff. Let that be your handprint. Let that be a handprint on other people's hearts. That's how you carve your name in the heart. That's how you fucking do it. And maybe they forget you, maybe they don't. You carve your name in their heart. They carve their name in your heart and they don't even know it. And that drive you to do the best that you can. Three national championships. NFL workouts. Pro touchdowns. You know, every single place. The high and the low. Rain, cold, snow, pneumonia, everything. Makes you the man, makes you better, makes you stronger, makes me stronger.